Hey guys, what's happening? This is KMC and this is a remake of how to build Bucky just to talk you through it a bit better. Now we're going to start with our nine blocks for the back. And then we're going to go on to the side which will be 23 and we're going to leave a gap, you know, just step one away. And then do 23 place down. That block totally messed me up for my counting. <laughs> I'm going to step in one and I'm going to place four. And then we're going to step in again and we're going to place three. And then we're stepping again, placing one, and stepping again and place one. And this one we're going to make three long across the front. And we're just going to place an upside down stairs because it's hard to get to afterwards. And then we're going to step it round, doing exactly the same on the opposite side. So one, then three, then four. And then we're going to go right back across. And hopefully if we've done it right at the front, you'll know just to leave a little gap so it's meeting to the other one. We can fill all of this in, this is our base layer. So guys, where I got a chance, um, I am playing around with a few ideas. got a couple of builds on the go. Uh, one of them is Mickey Mouse's uh, country house. Please let me know what you want to see built. Um, if you've got any ideas for um, the children sort of theme, please let me know. Um, I'm playing with around with the ideas of like Thomas stations and stuff like that. But the builds are going to end up quite big. Um, reason being is because I like to get them quite accurate. Uh, it takes me a little while to work on them before I can actually start releasing the videos for them. Um, because working out the size uh, to then the accuracy takes quite a while. Um, there's also Mickey Mouse's house and Minnie Mouse's house. Um, Toontown, I don't know if you would have heard that's the sort of theme I've been going on. Um, love to do more of the, uh, the kids programs. I do plan on doing the Jolly Roger. But like I say, it's all work in progress. I'm having to work out the size of the things first before I can start releasing videos telling anyone else how to do it. Uh, normally I would release a video as I'm doing the work in progress. But now I think it's better I just release them with the instructions. So jumping onto our second layer, we're going to come one out from the back. I'm going to place uh, three on this side actually, uh, including the one that I've missed one. And then I'm going to come across making sure I've got the 11. And the reason I've done that is so I didn't have to build a block to only then place the block that I could have built off in the first place. <laughs> so we've gone across, we've made our seven and then we're going to do eight and then we're going to come out one and build three and then go back in and then place the rest being 16. which will come out one uh two and then we're going to place three uh, jumping in one and then place in three and then we're going to jump in one again and place three and then we're going to build a block and build off it just building one and then we're going to do one off the front and we're going to come across making it free. And then we're going to repeat the process of the last side. So we build a block, uh, put one on it, knock it away. And now we're just going to make this row free. Then we're going to make this row uh, free again. And basically guys, I'm going to run up to the other end of the boat because I find it much easier working with it so I would have placed my 8 and then I would have I'm going to jump out so I'll knock out one away make that free jump back in and then place my other 16 so we're going to jump up to the back we're going to follow the 11 on the back And then we're going to miss one, so we're going to 
kick out. And then we're going to come down for 8. And then we're going to place a window pane, which will be in the middle of the 3 that we've placed. And then we're going to place another 14 blocks coming back. Then we're going to jump in for 3. And then we're going to jump back in, place 1, and then a window pane, and then 2. And then we're going to jump in again, place him free. And then we're going to run across the front, including this one off the free, uh, making it seven across the front. And then coming off the other end, I'm just going to place my last block. And then we're going to make that free. And then stepping out. Unless you do it the same way as I've done it here, placing the first one of our four. So we place one and then the pane and then the two. And then we're just going to run it one, two, three. And then we're going to kick it out. And we're going to run it all the way back until we hit our three again. So we're going to place one on top of the three and then our window pane. And then place one and come back across eight knowing that we've missed the one out on the very corner. Now guys, for this one we are going to need our jungle wood. And we're going to place four off of the first part. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to kick it out for three. So we're going to take a step out, knock that one away. And we're going to place, making that three. And then we're going to place our next four on the line inside. Now on this part we're basically just going to match a last layer but without the window so we're just going to place it all the way along over the top of the window as well and the only difference with this one is we're going to place an extra one so we're going to kick out one and then come across five and then kick him back in and I'm going to place two in the middle while we're here but so basically we're just matching our last layer sorry about that. So we come all the way across So for this one guys, we're going to come back to our jungle wood and we're going to come down to the corner we're going to place two and then we're going to spin around to the side a minute we're just going to place another one or another two and then we're going to place one to build off and then knock it away and we're going to make seven along placing our last two inside and then spinning round and placing an extra two on that one to make three and going back to our spruce wood going back to the line we've already got and then we're just going to match 11 long and then we're going to swap over to our gold block and we're going to make this gold block 8 long And then we're going to go back to a spruce wood place in two and then kicking in one and then three and then four across the next row and then three again except on this one as we kick in again we're going to place three this time so we've got two coming out from our last layer and then we've got five going across the front making it turning around and making three again i'm going to cover these corner holes up so placing one in each side and I'm going to place one on the middle again just to form a front of the ship basically going to come back again matching up like we did on our last one till we get to this part we're going to place two and then back to our gold blocks placing eight 
then kicking back we're gonna go back to our, our spruce wood and place 11 matching up to where our jungle wood started So guys, I'm going to start from where the gold block is, working my way backwards, because this time I'm going to come all the way around. I'm going to keep coming back. And then we're going to turn in. Don't copy me on that very last block there. We're going to turn in where our jungle wood starts. And then we're going to follow the seven line out. So we're, we've done two, then seven, then back to two. But we're going to come out that extra one, following all the way back down to our eight, only onto the one at on the edge then we're going to start from the one on the other end and we're just basically outlining the whole ship now when you come back to this part you only want to place on the first one and then that is it we want to go back to our we want to get our birch wood uh, birch planks Basically guys where them two are sticking out on the jungle wood from the very left hand side Right underneath right there. We're gonna start laying our deck in all the way across I'm gonna fill all the way back guys in the next part I will not be doing it in layers um, it will be like we we'll we'll do the cabin and then we we'll do say the mast and we we'll do it like that um, the layers were only there really just to help me out uh, to follow my own lines and really for you to follow along hoping that that has helped you out to be honest um, beforehand I was struggling to actually read read my own work without doing it in layers like like this Now you see me here guys, I'm going to place five, uh, four, but basically I'm going to place five on each side to find my middle one, and then working out where my third block is going backwards, I'm just going to place a trap door straight in the middle, just so it saves the hassle of doing it later on. And then carrying on back, we're just going to carry on filling in until we get to our next row of three. When I say row of three, row of gold blocks, you know, as we've come in on ourselves. So here, I'm going to place this last one. And then we're going to use some birch stairs. And we're going to place it on the next block up. Forming the next level. And do that all the way across. So we can carry on with our blocks now. Basically guys, we're going to fill in all of this one. Now I was a bit confused and lost, so that's why I've added an extra part on it. But we're going to carry this all the way on to the, uh, the third, to the last block of this row. Uh, when I say that, the gold block of this row before it goes in again. And basically on this one we would place one block where the gold is. Uh, on each corner and then we would place a row of three stairs but I'll go over that with you in a second just so you know exactly where you're putting it basically we're going to come up to this level where the row of three starts we would place one block on each side where the gold are next to the gold and then we do a row of three of stairs I will show you in a second um, at the time of making this I was looking at him thinking where do I put these stairs uh, so before I was too sure I thought I'd better have a look so 
So here we go guys, I'm just gonna place my block, one next to each gold part, and then I'll do a row of three stairs. And that's where I'm gonna leave this part for today. Uh, the next part will be with you tomorrow. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching, I hope it has helped. Please like and subscribe, and I shall catch you very shortly in the second part. Thanks for watching guys.